accomplished the oath of enlistment. We should be very proud to be a part of the best fighting forces the planet has ever seen. Do so, sir. At this time, if you have family in attendance here today, you're more than welcome to spend five minutes with them to say goodbyes, hugs, kisses, pictures. Everyone else, we're going to go back to the room we just left out of to finish your process and get you out of here today. Everybody understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. Again, if you have families here, only five minutes. Families, please. Release your baby's time. Only five minutes. All right, and then have them go back in the back because other families want to come in and move in this day, okay? All right, advocates. Applicants, attention, <laughs> Dismissed. Congratulations. channel so as you can probably tell we are in Fort Leonard Wood and we are so excited we are about to walk into the ceremony for our family day and I honestly can't wait to see my husband I'm waiting for Miguel to sign himself out I've already peeped where he is at I don't think he has seen where we are sitting so I'm so excited Eso es lo que quería, ¿verdad?
que mano, no nada, no nada, así como por tierra. Hey guys, so we are in St. Louis right now. We're actually leaving one of the hotel rooms here. This trip has been quite interesting to say the least. Uh, we are so happy that Miguel graduated from basic training. It was a glorious moment to see my husband's dream come true. But we ended up going into the emergency room and during the latter part of the trip. And that was an entire mess in and of its own. So we are so tired and so beat. We actually are about to leave right now to drop off our car rental and then head off to the airport. We're actually leaving a day earlier, a day earlier, a day later than expected. But yeah, we are all fine. We are all okay. <laughs> um, I'm thinking that I might just make a different video about the, why we went into the ER and we had to use one of the military hospitals, which I would like to take this chance to say thank you to the staff. They were amazing. And I, you know, you hear a lot of bad things about military doctors and military hospitals, but from my experience this past weekend, they have been amazing so i would like to take this chance to thank i think the hospital's called general leonard wood um community hospital right in fort leonard wood so thank you you guys but i am going to be heading out and we will see you guys when we get back home hey guys so it's been about a few days since you last saw me in st louis in the car heading to the airport coming back home um, in that clip, I did mention that we did end up in the ER, but before I get into that, um, we did enjoy our time with my husband. It was great seeing him fulfill his dream of becoming a U.S. soldier and even more great phenomenal and amazing and all the other positive words you can think of to see him and interact with our daughter, having a good time with all three of us he definitely noticed a bunch of changes in riley it has been about two and a half months close to three months since he last saw her so as i said he did notice a bunch of changes in her but yeah um during the latter part of the trip we did end up in the er that was not fun um you know our daughter did get sick so we ended up in the pediatric section of the hospital and I don't know if like I'll be showing you guys any clips like I think I only managed to just get um, a clip of just like how the pediatric room looks like but either way like I didn't have a the mindset to record such a thing and then B I always find it weird and I think even rude to be recording in such a setting just because it is a hospital <sighs> and on top of that it is a military hospital so I also wanted to be very conscientious like it like I said it is a military hospital so different rules apply and I don't want to overstep or cause any issues so I'd rather play it safe than sorry if anything perhaps I'll do a video about our experience with the hospital which was phenomenal and amazing I have no complaints and neither does my husband the staff there was amazing and we can't thank them enough for, you know, nursing our daughter back to health. So that was great. So like I said, maybe I'll do a video about our experience and perhaps you'll find that video informative. But as always, thank you guys for watching. You know, we appreciate you guys following me in this journey, his journey in the army as well. You know, there's a bunch of things coming down the pike like i said he is now in ait so we have about another six to eight weeks before he is officially home for a couple of days and before we find out that whatever duty station that he is going to so there's a lot of changes coming up and change is good you guys 
like yeah we are nervous because we don't know what to expect this is all new to us especially for me like wherever we go we're going to be separated from our extended family and i'm a very family oriented person i'm very close to my mom like i mentioned in my one of my um what is it uh, in my night routine there we go video i do speak to my mom on the daily so and i do see her frequently over the weekends now especially now since you know miguel is in the army so to move away from everybody will be difficult at first but that's life so we are excited and can't wait to see what the future brings as always thank you guys for watching if you haven't hit the subscribe button i don't know what you guys are waiting for because we have a bunch of cool videos coming up so you don't want to miss it so hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well comment like give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye